GamesWeasel.com Review Sin and Punishment is an on-rail shooter on the Wii which sees you running and flying around a number of crazy locations shooting everything in sight. The difference being, unlike recent shooters on the Wii, this time around it's not a first person view you play in and instead you play the game Space Harrier style, as you not only shoot things, but have to watch where your little man on the screen is too if you don't want to die early. The story is the usual Japanese crazy stuff I don't understand that well. Isa, Joe and Kachi are the two main characters in the game, there's some prologue in the manual about inner space and outer space and catchy not being human but it doesn't make much sense. It doesn't need to though as the game's fun without any story. You can play with one or two players, the second player just shooting as catchy and not controlling ISO on the screen. Holding down the B button will fire and by tapping A you can lock onto enemies and worry about your character, the trade off of course being slightly weaker firepower. ISO and catchy also have charge shots by holding down A, one of them emits a large burst of energy, the other targets more than one enemy at a time. And there are plenty of things to aim at, you may be flying through the sky hitting spaceships and soldiers with jetpacks, zooming through an underwater tunnel firing at crabs and eels and even playing through some side-scrolling levels akin to R-Type. The good news is the action is fast, the frame rate never drops and the way the camera swoops around the environment is a treat for the eyes. The game is also tough and being a hardcore shooter, you lose all your points if you have to use one of the infinite continues. Because you can also upload your scores online, this does encourage replayability as you can go back and try to get a better high score. You will blast through the game in about 4 or 5 hours but if you are after a hardcore arcade shooter to play alone or with a friend, you can't go far wrong with this. It gets an excellent 8 hours. Out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions, and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com.